So we did like an example schematic of what a three-way switch is. Yeah, sure. Uh, it came from a joke in class just because when we were talking about three-way switches at the beginning, um, Polly described it as one switch at the bottom of the stairs and one switch at the top of the stairs, so we made a joke about being a little kid and running away from the monsters in the dark and you had to turn the light on. The eerie feeling of running up the stairs. Right. The black stairway, so... So that's where that came from. Yeah, so, so this switch up, which just shows the energized circuit going around to the light this one down, this one turns off. Same over here, turn this one down then, and it has a path. So each traveler is just supposed to show how it's wired up, and they have two different paths, but they both power the main light. That's about it. Hi, I'm Bennett Havishad. I made a spot welder out of a microwave transformer. Um, I got the idea offline, and I thought it was cool to do it. I hooked up a pilot lamp with a switch and then a firing switch. I'll do a demonstration. Does the bark be warned? <laughs> oh, and I made a Lichtenberg to uh, put a design into the side of my chassis. This is a Tesla coil. Earlier in the year, we uh, watched a document documentary on Nikolai Tesla, and uh, it mentioned this project, so I thought I'd try to recreate it. And I, at first, had a lot of difficulties trying to get it to start, but Polly came over and touched a few wires, and then it magically started working. <laughs> so I'll show you how it works. So right now there's uh, energy flowing through this primary coil, interacting with the secondary as the transistor is switching on and off, creating an induction, and it's uh, making an electrical field, and it can light the floor as seat light bulb. It's wireless electricity. Mm -hmm. My name is Bryn Pavlico. I'm Gabriella Brudy. And we built a speaker out of uh, electrical wire and a magnet. Um, so inside here, there's a uh, coil of mag or a stack of magnets, neo diminium uh, magnets. <laughs> um, and it's wrapped around, or there's 27 gauge wire wrapped around it. Um, and it's attached to this piece of paper, which is going to reverberate the sound. Um, because there's no electromagnet in it with a, a current, um, it doesn't produce sound very loudly. Um, but it does create a sound with just magnets and coil. Yep. So we'll play it, then you get here real close. Our little audio source here. And then, if you listen, get real close. Let's see if we can get to a good part. It's not very loud at all. You can't even. But that's basically how it goes. Okay, so I'm Dan. I'm Nick. I'm getting Jacob's ladder. So basically, the concept kind of behind this is that we have a transformer here that. Uh, takes our voltage from 120 to 9,000 volts and sends it to the electrode and creates a spark that jumps across to the other electrode and travels up. So, uh, and that's it. Hi, my name is Ahmad. Um, I kind of did the opposite of what everybody else was doing. Instead of taking little compartments and building something, I bought something and broke it down and explained what it does. I 
I'm trying to unscrew it right now. But I know that it's it has about three resistors in it. I know where they lie before and after the transformer. I know the diodes in it, the bias of the diodes. I know the resistance and everything, the volts and everything. Um, I'm not 100% sure on what it's rated at. But other than that, I know everything. And then I decided to add to the current. I tried to add a power cord, that didn't work. I didn't have a power cord small enough, but I was able to add an LED light that would tell you if there was any type of flow in the circuit at all. And um, I guess, I already have it set up, I just go like this. It's lighting up, but that was like, so that wasn't the, the purpose of the whole. Uh, electrical theory is applied. The step up transformer goes from about three volts to about 2,750. Um, the series in parallel within the circuit, I actually have the circuit right here. It's actually horribly drawn. I'm not good at the little app or whatever, but um, I definitely have it on there. And again, I have the bias with electrical theories. I have the history of fly swatter. Um, the bug zapper was made in May 3rd. The actual fly swatter that was not with electricity was made um, May 3rd of 1506. The fly swatter without electricity was made in 1681. And the electric fly swatter, some people call it a zap racket. I've never heard of that. That was called in the late uh, 1990s. So I'll catch you next time. <laughs>
So I'll just hit it off with some water, get the soot off, and it looks a lot cooler. really hot right now. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Good job, guys.